is with the fat influencers. You guys know um, if you watch my channel or any of my social media outlets that I am not a fat shamer. My heart goes out to people who are obese and there's something wrong. So first, you know, you always hear me say nine times out of 10, it's not because these people are overeating. It's not because they're pigs and they're just gorging on food. There's something wrong. Their hormones, uh, their gut, uh, they're, they're eating the wrong foods, uh, allergies, something. There's something wrong. But I think what happens now, I'm not excusing and I'll get to that in a minute. I'm not excusing these fat influencers that are just flat out lying when they say it's healthy to be fat. It's okay to be fat. Well, you're not breaking a law, but it's not healthy. Um, you're taking years off of your life. You feel horrible. Don't tell me you weigh 400 pounds and you feel great because you're lying. Now, what I think happens is people try. They try really hard. And I've made quite a few videos on this. And they cut their calories and they try all these diets and nothing works. They haven't, got, they haven't gotten to the bottom of what the problem is or the root of the problem. Because there's people that eat very little and get fat. That's not normal. I mentioned earlier, it's a, it could be a few different things, but something is wrong. You need to uh, see a really good nutritionist, uh, uh, someone who can read your blood work, um, a good physician, a medical practitioner who understands this. And there's not a lot of them, in my opinion, but that's what you need. Someone who can read your blood work and help you through the process of elimination to figure out what is wrong with your body while you're, if, and I think that, well, here's my opinion on what happens. People try a lot of things because people don't want to be fat. Come on. Uh, fat is not beautiful. Maybe in some societies, some cultures it is, but it's in general, it's not beautiful. It's not attractive. You might have a wonderful heart and you may be a wonderful person. I'm not discounting that. But it's not a good thing. It's not a healthy thing. And you don't like it. If you're a fat influencer and you're pretending like you like being fat and um, it's okay and you feel good and you want to be fat, I think you're lying. I think you're lying. So what I think happens is these people try really, really hard. Nothing works. They're not able to get to the bottom of what is really wrong. And so they give up and they just say, you know what? I might as well just eat um, whatever I want. And, and you know what? They, they kind of got a point there. I, I agree. Who knows? Maybe I would do it too. Um, I don't think so because I, I, I know that there's an issue there that can be pinpointed nine times out of 10, but I get it. You give up and you go, why, why should I try so hard? I agree with you. Why should you try so hard? Why should you do an hour of cardio? Uh, why should you eat um, you know, five pretzels a day and a, a protein shake. Why? If it's not working, I agree. Why, why should you eat a thousand calories a day and do all that cardio and exercise? And it's not fair for people to fat shame people and just assume that they're that way because they're pigs. Because like I always say, I think that's very rare. I, I think it's a very, very high percentage in the 90 per percentile that people have tried and they're trying. They just can't figure out what the problem is. I think that's what it is most of the time. So I just want to encourage 
uh, you out there, um, all you out there who are maybe obese or overweight or, and try to catch it at the beginning. I know most of you might try to catch it at the beginning, but try to catch it at the beginning. Go, Hey, you know what? I've, uh, all of a sudden, you know, I gaining weight and I haven't changed anything. I haven't changed my diet. Uh, yes, you, you may want to clean up your diet, especially as you get older. But don't wait. Don't wait till you're 70 pounds overweight to say, hey, I better do something. I need to figure this out. Don't wait. Do it when you're five pounds overweight. Go, hey, something's wrong. Because you'll notice five, 10 pounds overweight, heavier than usual for you. You're going to know there's a difference. And I think there's something wrong. And look, I don't have all the answers. But I, I just don't like to see people being unhealthy. Yes, exercise is great. And do that. I own, I own health clubs. Get in the gym. Exercise at home. Get outside. Exercise however you like it. But just exercise might not be, well, it's probably not it if all of a sudden you gain weight. There's something wrong with your body. Find an expert um, and find out have that person help you figure out what's wrong with your body. If you guys have questions uh, for me, you know, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist, but I've been health and fitness uh, all my life. I've been in the gym and testing everything from when I was a teenager. Um, testing like, you know, let's try cod liver oil. Let's eat bee pollen and see what it does. I would try anything. Um, so if you have questions for me on what I've done and what my opinion is, I'll always answer those. I'm, I'm not giving medical advice, but I will always try to help or maybe point you in the right direction. And I'll always tell you what's worked for me. And, you know, I probably am one of those people that has a pretty good metabolism. My, um, my metabolism is probably pretty good. I'm pretty blessed. Uh, because I haven't had any of these problems, but my diet is very strict. My diet is very strict. I mess around once in a while and have a bite of this, a bite of that, or a beer here or there. But my diet is really clean. I eat twice a day. And so on top of probably being 61 and having a decent metabolism and being healthy, I eat really clean and I exercise five days a week. So if you want to know more about me, you can go to stevemain.com, more about my businesses and all that. I, I love to hear your opinion, especially on this topic. If you're one of those people that's tried and tried and tried, and I get those messages a lot. People say, yeah, I tried, I tried, I tried. It didn't work. I want to know. And if something did work, and if you're one of those people that didn't give up, I'd love to hear about that. Or one of those people that was obese, what did you do to get fit and start feeling better? Are, and are you glad you did it? So I'll see you all next time, everybody.